Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. That is Deb Chanel's 4 Days World, where we do news reporting, especially on reality shows such as Real Housewives of Atlanta, as well as Married to Medicine. Okay, we have a polling result that we did for the week of October 20th through the 26th. There were 19 polling questions that I put on my social media account in the community feed that I asked you all to partake in. And you definitely did that. Oh, yes, you did. And then some. It's always a family affair, YouTube style on Deb Chanel's 40s world. Now, let's get into the polling. All right. We had one particular question that I asked, and it was kind of a biased question. I just wanted to see what you all would say. Okay. I asked if you had a platform uh, for people to speak their minds on a subject matter, but some individuals only wanted to come in and cause dissension and chaos to the platform owner and the participants involved in the discussion. What do you think should be done with those individuals? Now, of course, this is only my question that I really, like I said, I was biased into asking you all about. Um, and I had different choices. And 50% of you all said to apply the three-strike rule. And that's like you give them leeway when you post a question. You post back, they post. When you post a question, they post their response. You will post back to their response, and then they come back still in an argumentative type way. But you still try to find some validity in what they're trying to say. So you get them like three strikes. And if they pass, they pass. If they just uh, flawed in their uh, discussion and they want to seem like they want to have beefing type banter instead of really getting into the subject, that's pretty much where we're left off. So. We had to just, you know, dismiss them. But 50% said the three strike rule should apply. Then uh, it was tied uh, three ways to needs to be exiled, needs to be cussed out and ask them why they're here and then dismiss and block their behinds. But usually I really roll with the three strikes rule, you know, and then if you just come on like you just want to have an argument you don't really want to give no valid type of discussion thoughts or, or provoking thoughts of a discussion about the subject matter, then I just instantly just block you, period. Because, you know, I could continue to say you don't want to be here because you're being disruptive. You're not really, you know, you just really want to be combative. Then, you know, I just totally go on and block you. But I do give uh, individuals a chance because I am open-minded and I try to keep it uh a learning tool because I can learn from you all just like you all can learn from me. We just have to be open minded and learn to see other people's perspectives on a particular topic. But that's basically how I roll three strikes rule and you're out of here. I asked another question on merit and medicine. Uh, Dr. Jackie, do you think she was wrong for not wanting to read the test results from Mariah drug screen? Uh, when Toya suggested it, and I was like, uh, on my just me thinking about it, I pretty much was like, why not, Jackie? Go on and get the girls, put them at the table, and just read the results and let have. But to me, I think it's more so gonna be a situation where this question is gonna come back up at the reunion, and Andy's is gonna do his, of course, spoiler where he tries to get into the meat and potatoes and make you answer that question. <laughs> But like I said, it's going to come up again. I really, truly believe that. But I really think Jackie should have got all the women together, squashed it, read the results, and it just is what it is, okay? But uh, the third polling question was, do you think Eugene and Toya husband on Merit of Medicine was wrong to tell Mariah uh, that Dr. Jack is not on her side? Pretty much implying she's not your friend. 40% said he was wrong, while 60% said he was right. But let me go back to on Meredith Medicine. Dr. Jack, do you think she was wrong for not wanting to read the test results from Mariah drug screen when Toya suggested that she should? 80% of you all said yes, while 20% of you all said no. Okay, we're going to go with, do you think men should be involved in women's business and vice versa? 88% of you said no, while 12% said yes. 
Uh, next public question was, do you think Dr. Simone on Married to Medicine was right when she started, uh, when she stated uh, to both Quad and Mariah that she was disgusted and ashamed at both of them because of their negative behavior towards each other? 90% of you all said she was right, while 10% said she was wrong. Excluding Dr. Jackie from the polling question that Dr. Simone thinks everyone is on the cast of Married to Medicine show is beneath her, and she looks at them like children who have no common sense. Well, 55% of you all said, yes, she really, but you all really believe uh, she thinks people are beneath her and they have no common sense on the show. While 45% said, no, not beneath her, and they do have common sense, okay? Number seven polling question was, do you think Toya from Merit to Medicine is a true friend and a ride or die chick? And that's in your corner, or she just as a total loud mouth and shit started. 81% of you all said true friend and a ride or die chick, while 19% said loud mouth and a complete shit starter. Number eight polling question was who do you think or who do you believe is the reigning queen with their trusted sidekicks on the uh, cast of Merit to Medicine? 60% of you all said Mariah and Toya, while 20% said Dr. Heavenly and Quad. 18% said Dr. Jackie and Simone, and the last 2% went to Dr. Simone, Buffy, and Quad. Uh, next polling question was, who do you think is the HBIC cast of American Medicine of, uh, <coughs> well, who's the HBIC of the cast of American Medicine uh, on that show? 42% of you all said Mariah, while 25% said Dr. Jackie. 15% said Dr. Heavenly, while 11% said Dr. Simone. And last 6% was on quad side. The next one was, do you think NeNe Leakes and Greg Leakes have an open marriage? 53% of you all said no, while 47% of you all said yes. Do you think NeNe Leakes wants to divorce Greg Leakes to take up with another man? 65% of you said yes. <laughs> And 35% of you all said no. Now, not really sure how that's fair and within or in, or in everybody, but I do believe Nene probably don't uh, tap some stuff on the side, but that's just me. And she wants to have an open marriage to the uh, fact that she don't want to be judged by others. We go to the next polling question. It was about the musician Tank. Uh, he appeared on the Angela Yee show. And uh, he, he, which is a, wait a minute, which is a radio personality. She is on the Breakfast Club, but she has her own side show where she talks about different subjects. Okay. Um, she was asking a question in her little sex talk forum at the time, where it's like girls talk banter. And she was asking Tank, the artist, the musician, R&B artist, about sex and uh, how do how do he feel? Uh, that two men engaging in oral sex doesn't make either one of them gay. Uh, do you think that was a true statement or a false statement? 88% said false statement, while 12% said true statement. But my question is, why is him and Malik coming out in favor of talking about transgender uh, men and women, but yet they don't want to say what they are? They want to camouflage all of that and just show support but I'm like what are you you know are you standing up because you are one of them or you're standing up because you really feel there's a cause and they need people to be in that corner personally I think that both of y'all have tasted uh the juices of another man and y'all are fascinated with it if not intrigued okay I think well I think Malik is just straight out gay while Tank is pretty much bisexual, but that's just the way I feel about it, okay? Y'all spoke. Y'all said 88% said it was a false statement, while 12% said true statement. Going to number 13, polling question. It was asked, do you think NeNe Leakes from the Real Housewives of Atlanta show really wanted to spit on Kenya more? Like the blogs had inferred or alluded to. And 66% of you all said yes, while 24% said no. And the other remaining 10% said unsure. <laughs> and it's still a lot of dialogue and banter going on about this spitting situation to where it's getting ridiculous. Nene need to be slapped on her wrist and told her, keep her spit, her saliva in her own bodies. We do not need her spreading any germs or any infections. 
possibly, allegedly, to other people. Okay, that's just not sanitary and that's just not a good look for her to be reigning as the HBIC in her eyes, in her mind, and in her environment. Okay. All right, moving from there to number 14 polling question was, Portia Williams. Portia Williams has started a new collaboration venture with Fab Online a Shoe Company, where she would have her own line of shoes. And I asked you, uh, you all, would y'all buy a pair to support her and her new venture? Seventy percent of you all said yes, while thirty percent said no. Now I did go on to her uh, online. Um, well, on I went to Fab Online's. Um, website and I put in Portia Williams shoe collection and it came up and it had a very vast array of different shoes but it seems like they're the same shoes that I've been seeing you know on uh fab online anyway but my thing is before I purchase I wanted to know does it have an embossed engraving on the tag or something on the particular shoes saying this is Portia Williams collection or it's just the shoes and you just buy a box and it just says Portia Williams collection. Okay, because if I go, I want to be a labor hoe, okay, and say, oh, I got Portia Williams shoes on. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be looking like everybody else and I just have to tell them that it's Portia Williams. So y'all get in the um, comments and tell me what y'all thought about that. But moving on, uh, we were trying to ask you the next polling question was what team are you supporting and ride or die for? 39% of you all said uh, y'all riding for Kenya Moore, twirl, twirl, twirl. 28% said they're riding for Queen Nene Leakes, HBIC. 20% said Pretty Party Girl, Portia Williams. Why 11% said uh, Dundrin Mistress, Candy Burris. And 2% said Team C Hill. <laughs> okay. I'm like, woo-wee. Okay, now. Moving on to that next polling question, which was number 16. It said, do you think Mark Daly and Nene Leakes conspired together to bring down Kenya Moore by Mark telling secrets to Nene about Kenya to use against her in a negative way for the future? Of course, 62% uh, of you all said yes, while 38% of you all said no. I find it very unlikely. This is my opinion that both of them will be in cahoots to bring Kenya Moore down. For what reason? Other than, you know, uh, specifying that there wasn't a true marriage, all of it was fictitious or whatever. We are already making that assumption. So I, I really don't need it to, I don't really think they really put that right or, you know, in the right terms because everybody still have that and they still feel that way. Some of us do. I ain't saying everybody. Okay, we went to Kenya Moore for number 17. It said, uh, Kenya Moore from the Real Housewives of Atlanta shows uh, or tell social media that having a baby has changed her. She believes she's more compassionate towards others. Do you believe her? 50 cent percent, uh, 50 cent, 50, uh, 56 percent of you all said no, while 44 of you all said yes. Now, I don't know what to believe because right now, can you from another story that I did recently? She's trying to get Marlo fired from the show. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, Marlo is just a friend. She don't need to go nowhere, girl. So I don't know. I don't know if this compassion thing is working fully out for Kenya. But we'll keep watching. We'll keep watching. Number 18 question was, do you think Tank, the music R&B artist, is gay or bisexual? Or um, he's just confused on what he likes when it comes to his sexual orientation? 69% overwhelmingly said he was bisexual, while 29% said he's gay, and 2% said, we're just confused, okay? And the last and final polling question was, do you think Tank, the R&B artist, ever, has ever been with a man before? Overwhelming uh, response was 78% saying yes, while 22% said no. And that ended the polling for the week of uh, October 20th through October 26th. We will be going and making new polls for this week coming up starting on the 27th through uh, November 1st, 2nd. So y'all look for those interesting polling questions that will come out uh, throughout the week. Uh, make sure you're polling, you're asking answering the polling questions uh, at your leisure. 
I do that as far as to interact with you all. And we can have discussion on different things that I do videos on or it's just out there in social media. And it makes me go, hmm, I wonder what the other people think about it. Because you always know I'm putting out videos and I definitely tell you what I feel about a subject. And you all uh, refer back to me and tell me what y'all think about a particular uh, subject matter that I discussed in my videos. But this is another way for us to continue to have the dialogue, continue to have that a discussion on certain topics and to continue interacting and communicating with each other and letting you all speak your mind. So y'all have a beautiful Sunday. I don't know when you're going to be seeing it right now. I'm taping this video at 1.40 a.m. Eastern Standard Time when I should be in the bed sleep. Okay. But I wanted to get a jump on it because I wanted to uh, hash out, bash out, send out more videos for tomorrow. So y'all enjoy this uh, polling results and i will see y'all next video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please think about it and subscribe what are you waiting on i'm giving you free entertainment with nothing but you giving me a few minutes of your time so remember subscribe 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 to me like and share my videos good night guys